It's time for Thriller Thursdays, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. And carry the four. That's all you have to do. But doesn't that throw the entire equation off? Not at all. You're trying to find X, right? That's what they tell me. I can assure you, you're supposed to find X. I take it algebra isn't your thing. I can do geometry. No sweat. Algebra is my nemesis of the math world. We will conquer it together. Right after I go get my leftover hamburger from lunch. No, don't move an inch. I need help with this. I can't take the test for you. Oh, maybe I can feign madness and get student services to give me permission slip to take it online. Then you could help me. Lana, you're insane. You've lost what little mental capacity you have. Ah! Ha! I've got you both in my sights. Hank, we're studying here. Did you think I care? I'm on the hunt. You're both counted as dead. Killed. No longer in the realm of the living. Are you bored or something? No classes to study for? Already done. Piece of cake. I have three tests over the next two days. Suicide. Ha! I scoff at their tests. I am Hank the Hunter. Oh no. Hank, I need some peace and quiet to study my algebra. Let me help. How? By shooting you with darts! Hank, I am going to murder you! Hank, would you stop it? Neither one of us are playing the game. What game? The game. Zombie kill. Say what? That's the name of the game. The game. You said that already. What is it? A game played on a lot of college campuses. Including ours. There's a group of zombies roaming around campus devouring fellow students. The last remnant of mankind is charged with ending the carnage. With dart guns. Or rolled up socks or stuffed pillowcases. It is awesome. I play it every year. And lose your life every year. And become a zombie? And become a zombie. Not this year. This year, I win for the sake of humanity. I refuse to lose this year. Well, you've got the zombie thing down to an art form. You should stop denying it and join the zombies. (sighs) Jealousy is beneath you. How can anyone take you seriously when you are standing there holding a dart gun? Rifle. Rifle. I stand corrected. And you have camo paint on your face. He does this every year. We've learned to put up with it. Just a warning. I am going to do everything in my power to win this year. And that means everything and anything. I hate to tell you, but your aim is off. So off. Oh, really? How about now? Hank! Uh. Stage Struck Audio Theater presents Fraternizing. What is a serious university student to do when her roommates are the members of a frat house? Do as the Romans do or fight against a sea of frat boys? Let's see as we follow the plight of Lana Andrews and her housing arrangements in the Beta Beta Tall Fraternity House. This episode, Zombie and the Formal. Jimmy, there you are. Mrs. Coleman, I didn't know you were coming to visit us at the frat house today. I've been looking for you everywhere in this place. Does anyone here ever complain about the stench in here? What stench? That answers my question. Are you working on more alumni business for the frat? I'm getting the email list for the newsletter finished up, like you suggested. Good. A couple of the guys are working on a letter to send out. Great. And we're gearing up for our monthly all-night study night. Excellent. All-night study night. Anything else on the calendar? Nope. Since I got assigned the sponsorship of the Beta Beta Taz... I think about this place all the time. Sorry about that. We need to be sponsored. Obviously. So? So? Nothing else on the calendar? I'm supposing that there should be, but there's not. So you're going to tell me what we're missing and tell us that we should plan some event or... Right on the button, Jimmy. Absolutely. In two weeks, the university is having... Am I supposed to know this? I would hope so. I don't. Sorry. Jimmy... The BTs need to keep up with what is going on the rest of the campus. We have enough trouble keeping up with our own stuff. The trip, the light fantastic weekend that's coming up. This is the first I've heard of it. You guys, come on. We need to get with it around here if we want to have a good rep with the rest of campus. Trip, the light? It's a recruitment weekend. In two weeks, 
There are events taking place all over campus to recruit transfer students and new freshmen. What kind of events? Y- you know, the usual recruitment stuff. Like what? Like what? Like the petting zoo on campus, coloring with friends in the student union, constant tours going on of the campus, free ice cream, cookouts, safe space training, make your own stuffed bear contest. And you want us to be a part of this? Yes, I do. The BTs have got a reputation problem. Which you point out every time you see me. Why do you think I was made the new sponsor around here? To put the hammer down, I expect. You expect right. You want us to be a part of this thing? I've made that perfectly clear, I thought. How? A formal. Uh, no, wait, come on! Yes, a formal dance. You want us to plan it in two weeks? I do. Can't be done. Jimmy. We have other things we have to take care of around here. Like what? Classes, for one. Ha! Who cares about classes when we have a recruitment event to be a part of on this fine campus? I guess not you. (laughs) Ha ha! Ah! Gotcha! Hank, what are you- Oh, Miss Coleman, what are you- You know what, I don't care. You may be one of the zombies. Consider your brain-eating days over and done with. Hank, we're in the middle of something here. Gotta keep my aim straight and true. Have to keep practicing. See ya. What just happened? Hank. I see that. Came in with a dark gun. I saw that too. He shot- I know all of that, Jimmy. Why? It's his new thing. No. Wait a minute. No, no, no. What? Quit playing innocent, Jimmy. Who, me? Yes, you. Zombie kill is going on. On our campus. At our university. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. No. Why does this always have to- You know what? I don't care. If I'm asked by the president, I will play innocent just like you. Thank you. Only better. Zombie kill. Why? Why would anyone in their right mind do that here? Kids love it. Why don't you make that a part of the recruitment weekend, Mrs. Coleman? You did not just say that. But my mouth formed the words. You didn't. Formal. We are having one. Plan it. Get the guys on it. I'll book the ballroom on campus. You guys get the food ordered through the campus catering, rent some tuxes, or at least something resembling a tux, and get some dates. But Mrs. Coleman... Look, Jimmy, the frat is going to do this one thing for me, okay? We need to do this for school spirit. But more importantly, political reasons, which only I am privy to. So, get ready, because we are going to rah, rah, rah with the Beta Beta Taz. The other day in class, class, we were discussing the place of the arts in society, and without them, we die. We cease to exist as a people. Oh, (laughs) we breathe, but we aren't alive. At any given time, I can talk about 15 subjects on this very subject. And from my extensive experience and training, we are losing this sense of the arts every day, every single day that this earth spins. The arts, for a simple definition I know you'll understand, are those things that express our humanity. If you only live in technology and your apartment, which many of you do, you're cheating yourself and you are not engaged in your profession. Recall from our lecture the other day when I discussed my background and my professional work and my research agenda for the entire class period. If you can remember any of that, you'll survive out there. There will be a pop quiz on all of this next class period. Now, get out of my face before I get ill. Why did I ever enroll in this class? Arts in America? Who are we kidding here? And a test? On the man's career and research agenda? I'm so dead. Ha! Put the dark gun down, would you, Hank? I can't rest. I don't know who's a human or who's a zombie. Isn't that part of the rules? This is a new gorilla version of the game. How many signed up for it? Not sure. Last I heard was 423. Say what? For... Holy cow. No joke. And that's a lot of money, too. Money? How is money involved? We all had to pay an entry fee. Hank, you didn't. I sure did. How much? Twenty bucks. Twenty? You people are a bunch of suckers. Whoever set this up is making a killing. 
They're only keeping a small percentage for setting up the game. Hank. Don't preach to me, Dad. I get enough of that for my real dad. I'm going to win that dough. I can't believe you- You better believe it. Well, you need to put that on the shelf for a minute. Why? What now? Had the freshmen run amok in the game room downstairs again? No. It's worse than that. How can it get worse than that? Mrs. Coleman is having us get involved with an event on campus. Get involved on... We're the BTs. We are a frat. We don't get involved. A formal. Say what? You heard me. A formal. As in a dance? Yep. As in tuxes? Yes, sir. What is she thinking? Knock, knock. What is who thinking? No one. It's frat biz. Ah, of course. You understand. All too well. It's not like I'm spying for some other fraternity on campus. And anyway, if I was, they wouldn't want to know what I know about you guys. Why is that? Boring. Bite your tongue. Or what? You'll shoot me with more darts? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I want a t-shirt. You're cranky, Lana. Thank you very much. It's not like I have a lot to deal with around here as it is with you maniacs and all the other guys with their towel fights, belching contests, seeing who can make the biggest mess in the kitchen, leaving food for weeks in the fridge until it transforms into a life form. Oh, come on. The food only turns green. There isn't any... You know what I mean. Ugh. You've got the I hate my class blues face. Which class is it? Arts in America. With? Professor Povar. Alexis Povar. The same. Oh, girl, someone should have warned you about that, dude. Has he given the lecture on himself yet? Yes, and there's a test on it. Him. Next class period. Readily agree with whatever the man says, shake your head every two minutes, and you'll survive until the end of the semester. Guys, I'm being tested on a lecture that a professor gave about himself. What nightmare is this college thing anyway? We may need to get the ice cream, Jimmy. No, Food does not solve all the problems in the world. How dare you, Lana? That's blasphemy. When all else fails... Eat a donut. A sticky bun. Pork rinds. Cake. Okay, okay. I get it. Go away. I don't want to be bothered, and I have a maniac's test to study for. I have to make sure I understand his red diaper art period. Whatever that is. You have our deepest sympathy. Yep. Best of luck. So, that's it? That's... All you have to say. You said you didn't want to be bothered. And you believed me? My life is stupid. I live with a bunch of frat guys who are one step below barbarians. I haven't gotten into nursing school yet, and I'm breaking out in hives. You are? Where? I have some cream for that. It's a figure of speech. I'm having a nervous breakdown. I hate to tell you, Lana, but that's your thing. What is? Going around saying you're having a nervous breakdown. Sure, you're stressed out, but you want to make sure that every guy that lives in this frat house knows about it. What are you- He's right, Lana. I've noticed it too. Jimmy, you too? Hey, I'm your BFF, remember? Your comrade in arms. But I'm not, and it's the truth. And I don't want to get pulled into your vortex of pity. Bye. See ya. Hank, you come back here and give me a chance to- Give it a rest. You'll only antagonize him antagonize him? What about me? You were already antagonized. Jimmy! Hey, great idea. No more food talk. No, not that. How about a date? As in, date date? Lana, your BFF, remember? Right, sorry. This test in arts in America has me losing my mind. Date for what? A formal. As in, dance formal? Yep. Tuxes and... Pretty dresses? Yeah. How about it? You're on. I'm going to need a party after this test from the regions of the deepest, darkest abyss. When in doubt, just tell Professor Povar that he's a man ahead of his time. After you tell him that, he may just remember your name for the rest of the semester. You think so? No, he probably won't. Thanks a lot! Okay. You study. I have a formal to plan. Jimmy? Yeah? Thanks. It'll be fun. I appreciate you asking me. Anytime. Gotta run. That's you dead, zombie. Eat darts and die. I'm making a last stand for the humans. (laughs) Oh, that is you double dead and out of the game, zombie boy. (laughs) Uh, One more kill and I am off to class.
No, you can forget it, Jimmy. But you're the one setting it all up for us. I know that, but I don't have to attend the silly thing. Silly thing? The the formal. Sorry. This is killing us to get it organized in two weeks. Less than two weeks. You're our new sponsor. You have to be there. Who says? I did. It's in the bylaws. It is not. I've read them from front to back. I then corrected all the bad grammar and spelling errors and read it again. You need to be there and give us some encouragement. I am not here for encouragement. I am here sponsoring you guys because it was mandated from up on high. You should quit saying that all the time. Why? Some of the guys are getting a complex. The BTs? Since when? Please, Mrs. Coleman. I don't have a dress to wear. Wear whatever. Wash your mouth out with soap, Jimmy. It's a formal. You could bring a date? My husband. He and I haven't been out on a date since... I I can't remember. See? You could take him to a swanky dance. It's a frat dance. I don't see it getting swanky. We could surprise you. Please don't. I haven't met my health insurance deductible yet, and I could not afford a heart attack. Ha ha. That was no joke. It was as serious as a... Uh, a heart attack? I'll think about it. No thinking about it. You're going to the formal that you're forcing us to have. You didn't hear me. I don't have anything to wear. Go get something. I'm a university administrator, Jimmy. The money we make isn't quite enough money to actually be called money. I doubt that. You're being melodramatic. Yes, I am. It's because I'm hanging out too much with a bunch of whiny frat boys. Mrs. Coleman. Hide me, quick. Hank, what are you doing? No, let me guess. Zombie kill. You didn't let me guess. I thought the rules state that zombies can't enter into any of the frats or sororities without some kind of pass. Oh, right, I've been in full combat mode for so long I forgot what's going on. Uh, So, what is going on? We're in the middle of planning for our formal. What formal? Hank, you know about this. You were told. I've killed a lot of zombies since then, Miss Coleman. I've got a lot on my mind. Yeah, but none of it is BT business. Ouch. Do you have your tux yet? I can find one. You better get on it. Let me guess. You already have yours. I sure do. And you should find a date. The pledge master, or whatever your position is, should have a nice date for the formal. A date? Really? It would be a good idea. Encourage the freshmen to meet new people. That kind of thing. I can find a date. Like who? I don't know. Uh, You know what? I'll ask Lana to go out with me. Lana? Sure. Lana. Yes. What's the problem? You two have issues with each other. There was a meaningless kiss, as I recall. What? Not listening to this. La la la. Not listening. It's just a date. It's not like I'm asking her to get engaged or anything. Yeah. I should ask her to the formal. Hank. You can't. I sure can. You sure can't. And why not? You didn't. I sure did. But you're just buddies. This isn't a real date. Well, it's done. You'll have to torment someone else for the evening. Jimmy, come on, let me ask her out. Have you lost what little mind you have? We would have a good time. There would be a fight in less than five minutes. It's a bad plan, Hank. Ask one of those girls from Pi Zeta's sorority house. He's gone out with too many of them. He's been banned. You have? I have. Hank. I know. It wasn't my fault. Whatever. Sort it out. I have other work to do for this campus. Goodbye, gentlemen. See ya, Miss Coleman. Bye. Jimmy. This discussion is over, pal. Uh. This has got to be the worst test I've ever studied for in my entire life. It has me talking to myself. I'm losing it. Hank, I hear you sneaking behind that couch over there. You shoot me with a dart, and I will commit murder. Aw, man. My stealth skills need some work. No, your maturity skills need some work. My maturity? Just because I'm getting a little recreation? It's an obsession. You zombies have taken the whole campus. A war between the humans and zombies broke out in the student union while I was trying to order my lunch. It was a nightmare. I was in the middle of that. That was fantastic. You're a child. Oh, like that hurts me. Your problem is you're not enough of a kid. I'm 18, about to be 19, I'll have you know. And you act like you're 30 already. Good grief, lighten up. 
I am trying to get into nursing school and it isn't easy and now I'm studying for some wacko's test and my studies are the most important thing to me as I have a dream about being a nurse. I've heard this song before, Lana. This is like the 40th verse. I get it. I support it. Rock on. You rule the universe. How's that? Your sarcasm isn't nice. Laugh a little. Enjoy your time here. You only get to do this once. Oh, that's an encouraging thought. Is that why you've burned through half the women here on campus? I wouldn't quite put it like that, no. I was being sarcastic. Like it? You need to work on it. There needs to be a punchline in there somewhere. Why don't you go on and go wipe out some more zombies while the real people focus on living life? And getting into nursing school, yeah, yeah. I'll have you know, I don't even have time for a social life. Not true. You readily accepted Jimmy's invitation to our formal. That's different. He's a friend, and that's what actual friends do for each other. Take notes and learn something. You are on a roll today, you know that? And it's not a real, actual date. I'm going to support him in the Beta Beta Toss. Do you want an actual date to the formal? What kind of question? What are you even talking about? You could have had one, you know. With who? No, wait. Don't look at me like that. You could have. Quit messing with me, Hank. I have enough to worry about with this test that I really should be studying for. It's not too late, Lana. I can't believe... Oh, yes I can. Deep down, you're focused on one thing. You. And what would that do to Jimmy? I could talk to Jimmy. No way. Out of the question. You really are a piece of work, you know that? I'm just testing the waters, Lana. You're what? And from your reaction, I can tell that you're more interested than you'd like to admit. Hank! You... You... I... Get out of my face! Admit it. If it wasn't that big of a deal, your face wouldn't be that shade of red. I'm going to- No, you're not. I wouldn't dream of having you break your date with Jimmy, but I did get a question answered. You arrogant- No, I'm not going to give in. You're just messing with me yet again. We can't be in the same room for five minutes before we're at one another. Yeah, I noticed that. I wonder why that is. Oil and water. That's why. I have to study. And I have to be childish, which I enjoy, by the way. I'm off to kill more zombies. Hank, I told you not to shoot me! It was an accident! See you later. Ugh! It is time for some revenge around here. This turned out great, Jimmy. You guys did a good job getting this together. Thanks, Mrs. Coleman. It did turn out nice, didn't it? I like the decorations. Our colors. They sure are. Hey! Kidding. I really like it. Nice dress, Miss Coleman. Thank you. It better be for how much it cost. The numbers on my credit card nearly melted off. And your husband looks nice in his tux. He does. He does look a little lost over there by the punch bowl, though. I promise it hasn't been spiked. Yet. Jimmy, no punch spiking on my watch. Then you'd better watch the seniors. That's their thing. I will. I only want to taste punch at the punchline. Well, stay away from the brownies, then. Not funny. Is that some sort of weed reference? Just trying to fit in around here. You should stop. Those brownies are saved for our homecoming bash. Jimmy. Kidding. Can we move on from all alcohol and drug references for a while? Hey, all. Hank. Nice tux. It's very, uh, magenta. I know. Isn't it great? Who's your date? I'm batching it. On my own. That's a surprise. It sure is. Oh, by the way, Hank. Yeah? How's the zombie kill going? From what I hear, we're down to about a dozen or so left. I can smell that prize money. Not listening. Oh, lighten up, Miss Coleman. It's a stress reliever around here. And it's good to be a child again, am I right? You're quite right. It's fun to play. It is at that. Lots of laughs. I've had a few, yeah. And so enjoyable to annoy everybody else on this campus, correct? Well, if you put it that way, sure. Hey, you shot me with a dart. I sure did. Uh... Lana, let's don't start a dark gun fight at the formal. Where did you get that anyway, Lana? At the store. By the by, dearest Hank, you're dead. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Hold on. I put in my entropy. Enjoyed. You didn't. Lana! You are officially dead and out of the game. (laughs) Haha. I am not. You're joking. Not. I joined and took you out. No! Yep. Looks like no prize money for you, pal. Lana... I'll get even with you, I guarantee it. You're the one who kept shooting me with your stupid dart gun, interrupting my studying, and messing with my head. I'm the one who needed to get even. Messing with your head? Never mind, he knows. Lana! Miss Coleman! Calm down. Jimmy! Now that you know everyone's names... Lana, I was having a good time playing zombie kill. 
at everyone else's expense. Now you don't have to worry about it. Are you two fighting again? You better believe it. Want to dance, Jimmy? You better watch your back. So what will happen, Hank? I am, uh, I... No threats at the formal, Hank. You should go have some punch. Yeah. You're a little red-faced right now. You should get a cool drink. (laughs) Hank. See you later. (laughs) You two fight like that all the time. All the time. You haven't heard the last of this, I'm afraid. I don't care. The thing is, Lana, you really do. You may not see it, but I sure do. Jimmy, let's not... Why aren't we dancing, huh? Oh, yeah. I know it's unconventional, and if it's all right with your hubby, I would like the honor of dancing with you two ladies. He won't mind. He's still staring at the punch bowl. Let's dance! You've been listening to Stage Struck Audio Theater's production of Fraternizing, Zombie and the Formal. In the cast, as Lana, Madison Baker, Hank, Kieran Shakler, Jimmy, Wesley Schweigert, Mrs. Coleman, Emily Graves. Stage Struck Audio Theater is a production of Wichita State University Theater Department. <laughs> Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen, the demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour, bring you Twisted Pulp Magazine, a journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed, worlds of the supernatural, worlds of dark satire, worlds of nightmarish futures, Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D-I-G-I-T-A-L-V-A-U-D-E-V-I-L-L-E dot com.